more or less what happens is I guess over time these things uh, this plastic liner breaks down and starts to uh, crack or it actually breaks into two pieces or multiple pieces and I'm gonna tell you this has been a nightmare of a problem to try to figure out what's been going on with this truck and I finally got the time to actually start looking at it and trying to uh, diagnose this thing and figure out what's going on with the truck. Mopar fam I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there as you can see we are in my Ram 2500 and we're actually heading home after work here but today's video is going to be about this truck it's going to be about the uh, Ram 2500 3500 trucks you know, it seems to be more common on those and especially the diesel trucks and I'm gonna tell you this has been a nightmare of a problem to try to figure out what's been going on with this truck and I finally got the time to actually start looking at it and trying to uh, diagnose this thing and figure out what's going on with the truck and diagnose this weird noise that I've had with this truck ever since we bought it and I bought this truck it's probably getting close to about a year old um, that I've had this truck now so this is a 2017 Ram 2500 uh, long bed Cummins you know nothing special bottom of the barrel trim is the tradesman but since day one when i've had this truck it's made a weird humming uh power steering kind of hydraulic whining noise and i always kind of thought it was possibly the power steering pump um but then I didn't really believe it was going to be the pump so that's why i've kind of never uh until finally recently decided to try to figure this thing out um and the reason i didn't think it was a pump was because if i was below about 1200 rpm or over 1200 rpm it never makes the noise it sounds perfectly fine and if it was the pump or something like that uh you know had a mechanical failure I would believe it would make the noise consistently no matter the RPM. It would whine at low RPM. It would whine, you know, at higher RPM. Um, I don't believe it would only be in one specific spot. Um, so anyway, long story short, what it is and what it ended up being was the high pressure power steering pump hose um, so the power steering pump hose on the pressure side was actually the problem and what I did is I actually cut open my old hose to show you uh, exactly kind of what's going down so let's check that out all right so here is the old hose or what's left of it after I cut it up in a bunch of pieces um, but basically inside the hose you have this plastic liner and it's just sitting inside the hose and more or less what happens is i guess over time these things uh, this plastic liner breaks down and starts to uh crack or it actually breaks into two pieces or multiple pieces um but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it so that is a dilly and that's why we put a new hose on and so far it is working like a champ so there you go um like i said it was the hose the truck sounds perfectly fine now no more annoying noise i'm so glad i'm done with that because it was absolutely just completely annoying to have to deal with it 
Now, the good thing is it didn't mechanically break the truck down or anything like that. You know, the truck was still useful. Um, and it didn't, you know, it seemed like I could have probably driven this truck forever and it would have just been fine, just would make that annoying noise. Um, but <laughs> it's exactly that. It is super annoying. And now that it's gone, the truck feels like a brand new truck again. Now, I was going to order the new hose from Mopar, but go figure, they're pretty much on a national back order. Though at the time of this video, um, they're currently and probably still are on back order. Um, so, you know, wink, wink, I uh, think there might be a problem. Apparently those hoses are failing a lot and well, that's probably why they don't have any. But I got lucky and it looks like AutoZone actually has a Duralast uh, version aftermarket hose that fits these trucks and it fit absolutely perfect and it's working <clears throat> so if you cannot find the original oem hose check out uh check out autozone they do carry them um, through duralast and i would imagine if they have them probably you know napa or o'reilly's or any parts store like that would probably have their version of it also um not to mention it was like a fraction of the cost uh, the original hose is pretty much about 200 bucks and I think the auto zone hose was just that about a hundred dollars um, so yeah you know half the price pretty much right there and no more noise all right I think that's gonna be it for today's video so if you're having similar noises or that whining noise with your Ram truck hopefully this video helps you out or at least gives you an idea to check out um, again you're looking at about a hundred dollar part and you know maybe 30 minutes of your time to swap out the hose and it definitely took all that noise away from my truck so as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one